Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I am going to do a little Primark haul which is super exciting. So I have this huge bag from Primark. We are going to go through everything that is in this bag right here. Let me know how you feel about this lighting too because it's kind of blinding me but I think it's good for the video. The first thing that I got, I'm not going to show you all of them, but I got four seven packs of socks. These are just the ankle socks, like the shoe liners. These are the only kinds of socks I wear. I really don't like the high ones. And I got some slippers. Um, I took the tag off because I wanted to try them on. So this is the memory foam slipper from their like love to lounge range. And this was three pounds. This is in a size medium, which is a 38 slash 39. I have very wide feet. So for me, these are actually a little bit too slim. Um, so my foot is kind of stepping off of the like memory foam like in here um, Also, there's this little tag on the bottom of each of these and it is very annoying when you step on it Because the rest of the slipper is so soft. It's like fuzzy on the inside This one is very very noticeable when you actually walk around But they are very comfy and they are uh, super warm and then of course, you know me I got some stitch things so this is the first thing that I picked up. This is a t-shirt, obviously, and it has this huge picture of Stitch on it as well as angels. So it kind of looks like they're Skyping or FaceTiming or something like that. And this is super cute. It's just a plain black t-shirt and this is in a size large. So this is a US 10 to 12. And then I also got this one, which just says Stitch all over on the side of it not at the side, on the front of it, and it is very, very cute. This is also in a solid large, and each of these were six pounds, which is totally worth it. They also had a couple of other ones. The ones was, one of them was a little bit awkward short. It was not short enough to be a crop top. It was just kind of that, like, mid-length, I don't know, like, right below your belly button, which I'm personally not a fan of just because I don't think it suits me. Like you probably know if you shop at Primark, Primark has a Dixie collection going and it is so cute. There are so many pretty things. There was actually a stitch item that I wanted to get, but I couldn't find it. It was a pillow with Stitch's head and I wanted it so bad. It was just like six pounds or something like that and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm kind of upset about that. <laughs> Next up on the stitch train is this pair of shorts. I had a like a pair of shorts like this from Primark from before. This just has stitch all over it with some white stripes. And this is a uh, regular short, but I'll probably just use this as a pajama short. This is in a size extra large, which is a US um, 14 to 16. So I say the US sizes because like 50% of you are from the US. Yeah, they just look like this. They are super cute and I can't wait to wear them. They are not the softest material ever. They're a little bit more stiff, but I think that is because they are supposed to be worn as regular shorts. For me, these are a little bit too short to wear out in public. So if you are enjoying this video so far, please do remember to subscribe before you leave the video at the end. And also, I just want to say thank you because I just reached 6,000 subscribers today, which is amazing. And I can't believe that so many of you actually want to hear what I say. This is very TMI. So if you don't like TMI, skip like 30 seconds ahead. Um, I just got this pair of panties just because they were so cool. And these were on clearance, I think. Yeah, so these were one pound and I just couldn't pass them up. This is in a size extra large as well. And they have this like uh, faux leather panel in the front with some mesh and this like la lacy something something. And then this, uh, the back part is all this like mesh thing. And this was just very cool. So I haven't used this yet, obviously, because the tag is on it. But I just wanted to show you because it was nice and clearance, which is great. I also got a two pack of another set of panties, but I have already worn both of those since I got back. So I'm not going to show you those. I have some more things that are not from Primark, but we're going to talk about those at the end. Okay, I found another set of socks and some more socks. And I forgot my eyeliner at home, so I had to buy another eyeliner. This is just the PS Gel eyeliner. It comes in this little pot. And then it does have a little brush thingy at the top here that you can use if you want to. I personally prefer to use my own brush 
So I wish I was able to get like just a regular lid that could just cover this little pot because the eyeliner is huge with the brush, especially when you don't use it. So apparently this is flammable, which is crazy to me. How can you have something flammable that close to your eye? Next up, if you have seen my Primark challenge that I did with Elisa from Lost Norwegian, you've seen these shoes already and they are just these super cute ballerina flats in this like rusty color. And uh, this is a wide fit extra comfort kind of pair which fits me great because as I've said a thousand times I have very light feet. So they have this little knot detail right here and they're just really really cute, very plain. And uh, these are in a size European 39, which is my size, which is a US 8, apparently. They are cute, and they were six pounds, less pair of socks. And this is something that I always get at Primark. This is very random, but these are some uh, opaque tights. These are the 40 denier appearance. This is in a size extra large, and it's three pairs for three pounds. And these are apparently weather sensor, which means that it, they keep you warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm, which... I don't know if that works, but I really like these tights and they're cheap and stuff like this in Norway is way too expensive. And I have the another pair of tights. This is just the AT denier one, so they're basically the same, but they are 50 cents more expensive for three pairs. So they're 350 for three pairs. This is another thing that's a little bit TMI. And this doesn't fit me perfectly because you're not able to try things like this on in Primark. Um, so in Norway you can try these on, there's still like this little liner thing inside and then you keep your panties on obviously when you try them on. In Primark though that's not allowed. So it's just this um, body kind of thing, so it has this, uh, well it's a body, so it has the top and then it goes down and it like covers you all the way down. So. This is a little bit too short for me, which is a shame, but I'm hoping maybe as my belly will get smaller that it will even out and then it'll stretch a little bit further. So that's what I'm hoping for, but as of right now I can't use this because the cups sit about this much too low. This in itself looks really cool and this is 12 pounds. Next up I just got a two pack of some um, face wipes. These are the H2O micellar wipes and uh, they're one pound for two pack which is super inexpensive. And there's also a lot of uh, wipes in here. There's like 25 wipes in each of these packs, which is a really good value. So I usually get a pack, two pack of these every time I'm at Primark. Um, I have some random nail files, which I guess you don't find that interesting with my stitch obsession. I got this toiletry bag, which I love. So it just sets stitch on it as you can hopefully see. And it's really, really big with the top open so you can like fit everything in here. And um, it's just a really nice, nice like toiletry bag. So this was six pounds as well, and I really like it. I completely forgot something, so I'm gonna show that to you now. And that is a pair of skinny joggers or sweatpants. Um, so they basically just look like this. They look like regular joggers. They have this little uh, detail here. It just says Paris Sports. And they have a little bit of a slimmer leg, which I apparently like. So it has this little stretchy at the bottom so that if they're too long, they're not going to run off your leg. Ignore my TV, it is on. I just paused the YouTube video. Um, so this is actually really nice. It, I feel like it fits me like a jogger, but it's a little bit slimmer. So it makes me, it doesn't make me look uh, like twice my size, which I feel is the case for a lot of joggers, which are just generally really really big so for me these are a little bit loose on the butt my butt isn't quite big enough to fill this out correctly but the legs fit really really nicely and uh, these are in a size extra large which is a US 14 to 16 again and uh, these were five pounds which is a steal apparently I got one last TMI kind of thing so this is just a penny again this is a size extra large so it just looks like this, and then the back has this like thin mesh, and um, it's just pretty. They just have a lot of good underwear, and it's very, really inexpensive. This was five pounds, which is I'm all I'm here. I can speak. I'm all all for it. So we got this, and then it has this like lace edge at the bottom, which is really cute. 
I got a white belt just because I don't have one. It's just a plain white belt with this silver buckle and yeah, it's a white belt. This is in a size extra large and this was two pounds. Keep away from fire. Thank you. Those were actually all the things that I bought from Primark, so there's not that much of clothing in here, but I hope you enjoyed the haul anyway. I'm going to hop into everything that is not Primark now, starting with this t-shirt from VidCon, which obviously I had to get some merch while I was there. They only had two t-shirts though, they had this one, which it just says uh, VidCon London 2019 on it, uh, and this like rose gold metallic text, which I adore. The girl who was selling them she said she was wearing a large, and she looked significantly smaller than I am, so I went a size up. The fabric is super, super soft. This was 20 pounds. And then I hid some stuff because I really didn't do a lot of shopping. Like, this is literally everything that I bought. It was not everything. I got two little nail polishes from Primark. So this, these are the PS Quick Dry Nail Polish, which is supposed to dry in 60 seconds, which is always interesting. And uh, these are 60 pence. And uh, they're, these are really tiny, but like I never finish a bottle of nail polish, so I'm completely fine with that. I just really wanted something nice and bright, so it's like this nice bright blue and purple. This is royal purple, and this is cobalt. These might or might not be from Primark, I really don't remember, but they're just a pack of tweezers. These were two pounds. Next up, from Boots, I got two hair dyes. This is Twisted Lemon, which is a really bright yellow, and then I also got Rose Gold, which I really want to try. I have rose gold from Eero Eero, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use this one or that one first. And uh, this fades out pretty quick though. This is from 2 to 10 washes, and this is from 3 to 20 washes. And uh, Bleach London is a vegan and cruelty free brand, which as you probably know, I really appreciate that. I also wanted to get their neon green, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I think that's called like green slime or something like that. But they never had, they didn't have that anywhere. They had the rose or rosé, and then they had awkward peach, which I should have got, but I didn't, and I regret it. And uh, these are ten, no, they're not. They're six pounds each, and I can't wait to try these out. Maybe I'll do my hair yellow at some point since I have this one now. Let me know if you want me to do my hair bright yellow. Maybe I'll do that this summer or something. And then I have a few things from Lush. So first off, this is peachy bath bomb, which just looks like a peach. And then this is a Secret Arts Jelly Balm, which is supposed to turn your water like dark gray blackish, which I'm very excited for. And they smell so good. And like they've been hiding in this little toiletry bag, and they it just smells so good in there now. It's not even funny. So I have these two. 